Genius George says thank you. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today George received a surprise in the mail. It looks like you got a card, George, said the man with the yellow hat. It was a thank you card from George's neighbor, Betsy. Dear George, thank you so much for the birthday present. I'm putting the stickers you gave me on everything, even this card. Sincerely, Betsy. The card made George smile. It also made him curious. Who could he give a thank you card to? George thought and thought. He could send one to the Science Museum director, Dr. Lee, who had shown George her favorite collection of dinosaur fossils. Of course, there was also the librarian who helped him pick out books. Hmm, the store clerk at the market always saved the best bananas for him. And his friend Bill let George fly his kite in the park. George had so many people to thank. He had to get started right away. First he gathered paper, envelopes, crayons, and stickers. Then he got to work. The man with the yellow hat walked in to find George covered from head to toe. Uh oh, George, what are you doing? George held up Betsy's card and pointed to the papers scattered around him. Oh, I see, George, said his friend. You're making your own thank you cards. What a nice idea. Would you like some help? The man wrote while George decorated. George was having so much fun that they even made a stack of extra cards. We can hand deliver these tomorrow. Everyone will be happy to see you, George. Their first stop was the Science Museum. George, it's so good to see you, said Dr. Lee. What a lovely card. I'm going to hang it in my office right now. Next, they stopped at the library. What a great card, the librarian said. I'm going to set it here on my desk where everyone can see it. George, we have some new books in the children's section that you might like, if you have time. George looked at his friend. All right, the man said. I will go get a book for myself. George noticed the mail carrier leaving the library. She was the one who had brought George his thank you card in the first place. He wanted to give her one of his cards too. George hurried out the door. Could he catch her in time? George jumped up and down on the steps, waving a card, but a group of children was just getting off a bus. They were coming to the library for a story hour. George couldn't see which way the mail carrier had gone. But oh, there was a street light nearby. George was curious. Maybe if he climbed it, he could see where the mail carrier was going. George started to climb the street light as fast as only a monkey can. But when he was halfway up the pole, his bag slipped off. In an instant, all of George's thank you cards went whirling through the air. Oh no! How would George deliver his cards now? George slid down the pole and grabbed at the cards swirling around him. A boy looked up. Hey, it's snowing mail! A little girl said, Don't worry, little monkey. We'll help you pick up your cards. The children gathered up the cards. George was very grateful for their help. He was also grateful that he had brought extra cards. He decided to give them to all of the children. These cards are so nice, said the teacher. The man with the yellow hat came hurrying down the steps. George, I didn't see you leave. It looks like you've had quite an adventure out here. The man thanked the teacher and his students for helping George. Let's finish delivering those thank you cards, said the man. George and his friends stopped by the market and the park and then headed home. George felt a little sad that he hadn't caught up to the mail carrier. But wait, who was that at George's house? George proudly gave her a thank you card. Wow, George, said the mail carrier. I'm usually the one delivering the cards. This sure is a treat. George waved goodbye and he and the man went into their house. 
But George had one more very special thank you card to deliver. He had saved the best for last. The end.